Oh, hi again. Nice of you to join me. I've been eating an unhealthy amount of bread. As it's the only way I can heal up from pickpocketing all these guards. In the last episode, I flinched guards from level 1 attack and level 1 strength until I was powerful enough to achieve all their drops, like this little iron dagger I'm holding right now, and these bronze arrows tucked away down to the leg of my pants. And we began pickpocketing. We pickpocketed those civilians and we took them for all they had to get up to thieving the guards, which now we must continue thieving to finish off our final chunk task of thieving and stealing all the earnings from one of the hard-working, tax-paying Knights of Valamore. We got an evil Bob fishing event, which means we get a sick fishing XP drop. I've been looking forward to getting one of these. It's just free total level. Look at this. 650 we're straight to level 7. Those are sick. Oh, we got the serial killer face. <laughs> oh, damn. I look gorgeous. And one day and eight hours after we have started this account, we have the final level for our first chunk. 55 thieving, all from using bread to steal from these knights. Guards, sorry, the knights are the next ones. The knights are these friends over here. This is the final chunk task, first try? Not first try. Second try, not second try. It's okay. It's okay, we'll get it eventually. <laughs> he's, he's not keen on letting me leave this chunk, is he? Come on, come on. I, I need to go. I need to roll a new chunk. There we go. Ah, that's all our tasks in the first chunk completed. But I'm not actually done. I'm not going to roll a new chunk yet because I cannot end the first chunk on 96,000 gold without testing out the XP rates on these knights. So let me just finish off this cash stat to a crisp 100k test these knights and then we'll go roll a new chunk. Cash stack goes from yellow to white. That is absolutely fantabulous and we're getting about 27k at the start of knights including hopping for bread. Uh, guards topped out at about 20k starting at 12 and citizens were about 7k. So every step of the way it's been a significant improvement. All right let's jump over to the chunk picker. So I really don't know what are in these. I know we've got charter ships in three, we've got a weapon store in one, and we've got the whole marketplace in two. I think my favorite place to go would be one and then downwards because I want to get to a bank and I'd like to get a few more upgrades before I get towards the Colosseum. But let's see where we go. Big chunk. All right, we go downwards. Interesting, let's go check this out. And here we go, let's up Date this list with the new chunk. Bling. Yeah. All right, let's go check out the market. I know we get some more thieving content again because we have all these. Where are they? The wealthy people. Oh my God, there was a dog there and I didn't even see. Oh, he just woofed. Woof again for me. Yeah, that's right. Woof. We have a water source now, bowl, and we have a place where we can cook food, and the general store has all sorts of shit. Ooh, we've got a chisel. I can't train crafting yet, but now I do have to cut my gems if I get a way to train crafting. Maybe I do have a way to train crafting here. Ominous foreshadowing. Ooh. A sunbeam ale. Interesting. Does this give any plus or minus stats? Plus one agility? Interesting. Plus one strength too. Oh, and the bartender has all sorts of stuff. We have better food and attack boost and cups of tea. Great for combat. Oh, we've got our client. We're playing on Moonlight. <laughs> oh, now that's a thing to see. That's an iron axe. Are there any choppable trees? Because that would unlock fire making. And was there a knife in the general store? Let's go check. Uh, these, tr these trees are not choppable trees. Hmm. Yeah, looks like these ones aren't, but I gotta check every single tree in the chunk just in case. Is there a knife? Oh, fletching is unlocked. No, all cypress trees. Oh, hold on, hold on. Choppable trees, woodcutting unlocked. All right, let's get some quick chunk tasks out of the way. I need to chop and burn a regular log. 
And I'm going to need to fletch. Which of these is harder? Longbow is 10 and crossbow stock is 9. We're going to need to fletch a longbow. This chunk also contains this friend here, an estate agent. Before we arrived in Valamore, however, we unlocked a house, so we don't need to buy a house here. That was in case we didn't get this chunk. I wanted to have the option to work on construction stuff regardless. But the other important thing to note about this part is that it has the construction skill cape. We will not be doing skill capes as required challenges on this account for two reasons. The first is, I've seen other Chunkman doing this grind already, and I want my grinds to be different. And the second is, going straight to 99 from very low levels skips lots of content. It means as I unlock incremental things on the way, that I don't actually have to do anything new with them, and I think that makes the account less interesting on the whole, so we will not be requiring skill capes, and this doesn't trigger a construction grind. Oh, alright, so we've got a serious cooking grind then. We need to be able to cook swordfish. Interesting. I wonder if we can cook anything else with all these supplies. There's a lot here. I just spent a prayer point so we can restore it at the altar. And let's see what's downstairs. Come on, please be something to fight. Please be some combat stuff. Mm, no, I came here in the quest. I don't remember there being any... Oh, oh we can do quest progress. Oh, here we go. 75 thieving is a requirement to steal from a gem stall. Oh, this training though is going to be insane. Oh my god, that's so much better than the knights. What the fuck? Oh. 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 Oh, XP. So there seems to be lots of like pie ingredients, but we don't have butter for making potatoes and we don't have flour for making cakes and pies and things but those would definitely unlock some more so for now the highest thing we need to cook is the swordfish incorrect we can make chocolate cake i need to cook a chocolate cake with a chocolate from here and a cake from the baker's stall which requires 50 cooking oh hey editing crack here if you can figure out how to make something that has a higher cooking requirement than a chocolate cake please let me know I really don't want to be skipping grinds unintentionally, and my brain is not big enough to figure out vegetable cooking and all the pies and things, so there's a chance I missed something. And with other things too, if throughout this episode you notice something that I should be doing that I never even mentioned, uh, please let me know in the comments so I can go back and do it next episode, because I guarantee you I won't be out of the chunk yet. <laughs> Oh, there's way more trees down here. Oh, that's going to be so much better for the fledging. Is there any trees that are a higher level? I don't see any, no. Oh, I wonder what goes in there. A note on stash units from the rules of this account. I have to build and fill stash units if I have access to all the items that go inside it and the supplies to build it. If I only have the planks and nails, and I don't have the items to go in it yet, I do not have to build it. But say I get the full Sunfire armor, which does go in the stash unit, the one you see here, and I have access to mahogany planks, nails, a hammer, and a saw, then it will trigger this as a construction grind, and I would have to get whatever construction level it is for inconspicuous bushes. Hold up, drink from birdbath? What the fuck? Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, thanks, Jagex. So we're definitely going to start with doing all the grinds that don't require much inventory space, whereas, like, the cooking grind is definitely going to need more inventory space, because we really want to get a Leo random event. During the Gravedigger Leo random event, this mausoleum up here acts as a bank deposit box, and as I don't have a bank in my chunks, but I am allowed random events, this is the only way I can get items sent to my bank. However, I will have no way of retrieving them until I actually unlock a real bank. This is especially useful for items that I will not be using now but want to keep for the future. And one other super important thing. The random event items. Once you collect a full set of random event gear, that particular random event will start to give you XP lamps instead. 
And if I can get those full sets sent to the bank, it will count for that, and I will be able to get more XP lamps in this chunk, which are going to be really important. Oh, there's squirrels over there. Oh, I love squirrels. As someone who lives in a country that doesn't have squirrels, they're like my favorite animals. I visited England and these little critters are so cute. I know they're like pests a lot of the time, but uh, I, don't, I don't care, I love squirrels. <gasps> There's also a level 10 woodcutting, but a bunny. And the bunny is like also cute. We love bunnies, but I can also murder the bunnies for much better XP. Okay, don't step out of the chunk. What? Why did I go around? Uh, <laughs> oh, yep, that's just not walkable. You didn't see nothing. Though it is a chunk task to kill that rabbit. Come back. What do you think is this bunny's favorite farming patch? Hops. Whoop, oh, get him, get him. <laughs> nice, wow, the animation stalls on that bunny. Look at it going. All right, task completed. Let's take the rabbit so we can cook that later. Oh, I can, oh, I dropped my tinderbox. I remembered a thing. Where's our dog friend? Jolo, where are you, Jolo? Come here, hey boy. Yeah, bones. Woof. First cooking XP? Nope, the rabbits turned into burnt meat. Though that's pretty realistic to my cooking skills, I think that checks out. Oh, and our first house key on the way back. This time for sure? Insane. Two cooking. Level 5 fletching, so I can now make short bows. Are they more XP? They're not more XP. Hell yeah, we did, uh, yeah. 15 wood cutting, so if we ever get any oak trees, they are immediately cuttable. Oh my god, there's an imp. That's... Didn't leave my chunk, it's fine. He's ignoring me. Come on, just just step back in. An imp being in the chunk actually changes so much with the cooking, because imps can drop a pot of flour, and that was the th one of the things I mentioned earlier that was stopping a lot of things that I might be able to make. So I really need this guy to step back into the chunk, and I need to find out where it spawns. So my rule with NPCs like this, as long as I don't leave the chunk, I'm fine to attack them, I'm fine to use them for things. But if the spawn location is in my chunk, it triggers... Fuck, that's, uh, that tile is trolling me so hard. Oh my god, I just blocked it. <laughs> if the spawn tile is in my chunk, then it triggers skilling tasks. So I need to kill this and figure out where the spawn is. And if the spawn is inside my chunk, then I'm going to need to use that pot of flour to make all sorts of things. I'm going to need to get the wizard hat drop from it because it's a new best in slot. I marked it pink and there it is on the map. That is so in our chunk. Our, wait, hold on. What? I, that's, you can't get there. That's such a troll. Imp. No, imp. Bat. <laughs> All right, let's hot world, see if we can see a pink dot appear on the minimap somewhere else. If it's here, that's really far into our chunk. Like, I think that might actually be triggering a grind. 20 wood cutting. These imps, what? It's inside the wall now? Please, just go like on the footpath or outside. <laughs> Level 9 fletching, I can now make regular stocks. Surely these? More than 5 XP? Maybe? 6 XP! Oh my god! Stonks. Um, why? What? <laughs> ah, those are funny. All right, let's finish off that fletching task. There is level 10 fletching. You can now make longbows, so I think I probably just will. Next, we're gonna focus on thieving and we're gonna try and get up to level 75 to steal from the gem stalls. So we're gonna check out these stealing from wealthy citizens and doing the house robbery and shit and see what sort of XP rates we can get from that. Currently, our best is knights that were about 30K an hour. I'm assuming this is going to be a lot more. Oh, and now I don't need to hop for bread. I can just buy it. How much is it each? 12 coins. Cheap as chips. What's this? My hands are really sweaty stuff. They're, surely they can't be that sweaty, right? Oh my god, imp. Found it. Imp. Get him. No. Oh yeah, come back into the chunk. Yeah. What? What, what are you doing? <laughs> what sort of bathing was that? 
Ah, uh, now we're out of run energy. Okay, get him. Oh, we can train on rats too. That's going to be so much faster combat XP. Man, this chunk's good. Oh, I can't go out there. Sorry, that's going to be a no from me. So the only house we can actually steal from is Lavnia's house, I think. All the other ones are outside of my chunk, so I need to wait for her to leave, and then I go in with my house keys and just yoink all her jewels and stuff. Oh, there she goes. Oh, hi, Lavnia. Yeah, I'm just going to go in here. Don't mind me. <laughs> okay, what do we click on? The chest? Oh, we got one of the bone things. We can chisel that down into shards, right? I wonder if that has any stat requirements and gives any XP. Let's go buy a chisel after we get out of here. Oh, here we go. Watch this again. 630 XP. Mm. Yes, please. Oh, and we've got a sapphire amulet. I've got to say, that's better fashion than the gold necklace, so I think we'll be upgrading. These don't trigger chunk tasks because they don't do anything. We can't enchant them. They're just cosmetic. Wow, you can stay in here a really long time, and this is really chill. I thought she'd be back way sooner than this. Oh, here she is. Here we go. Boop. Oh, we've spotted another imp coming in. I don't think they spawn in the chunk, but I haven't managed to kill one yet, so I can't say for sure. Oh, and he goes down. What do we get? Ashes. Great. But now we need to try to keep an eye out and see where he spawns. They seem to be more common over this side, so I'm going to look for an imp spawn from here. Ah, that one definitely spawned over there. So I've been pointing out all the grinds we have to do so far this video, and you might be thinking to yourself, hmm, I wonder why Crack hasn't done one of those shiny graphics that highlight green when he finishes things yet. And that's because uh, Crack in this video has not figured out the huge grind he's about to embark on. And that's all about to change. You ready for the pin to drop? Okay, moment of truth. Does this give XP? It does, we have to cut our emerald. Oh. Oh, that's gonna be brutal. Shit. So here it is, here is that eagerly anticipated graphic. We have four major grinds in this chunk. The first one being 75 thieving for gem stalls, and the second being 50 cooking for making a chocolate cake. Seeing as the Blessed Bone statuettes can be chiseled down for crafting XP, that's a way to train crafting, and I have a gem stall, so I am going to need 43 crafting to cut a diamond. I'm not going to have to go the whole way to 43 with 5 XP drops. At level 20 I'll be able to cut sapphires from the gem stall and do that the rest of the way, and to get to 20 lamps are surely going to help. But that's probably not even the biggest thing in the chunk. Remember those trees and a knife? Well, with level 65 fletching, you can chisel a cut diamond down into diamond bolt tips. So we need to get up to level 65 fletching, or about 450,000 XP, with fletching regular logs into longbows. That's going to take a few months. Let's jump back into the clips with a crack who now knows about the crafting, but hasn't really fully comprehended everything yet. Alright, I need to be around this house the whole time so that I can be thieving these every single time that lady leaves. Because we need to get an enormous amount of those. I think I might actually also switch from lamping agility to lamping crafting. Because this is going to be really difficult and I need all the help I can get. And this time we didn't even get a statue. So it's less than 5 XP per house key. Whew. Alright. Doing this activity is getting me over 50,000 XP an hour, which is significantly more than knights, so at least my thieving training is way better. Oh, Impan, she's leaving. The double trouble. Oh no, this is more important. I gotta get the crafting XP. Oh, I'll be back for you, Imp, don't you worry. Yes, got one. That's another five crafting XP. Fuck yeah. Ooh, we just got a ring. That's our very first ring. And we got a statue from this one. That's awesome. Five more crafting XP. 60 thieving, that's a beautiful number. We're getting 75k XP an hour now when we're paying attention. Thieving wealthy citizens in the middle when I need health. I'm jumping over to the bakers here and just buying cakes and bread, which is way better than world hopping for it up top. When one of the little kids distracts one of these friends, we always go and pickpocket that one because it's just crazy XP. 
let's see if it can happen about now. And we're always keeping Lavinia in our sight. As soon as she leaves the building, we go down there and we thieve from the house. It's going pretty well. 61 thieving. Oh my god, burnt potatoes are so small compared to regular baked potatoes. Wow, those are much less XP than herrings. We're going to go back to cooking those. I'm just doing some cooking intermissions because let's just say this craft and grind might take a while. I got to keep the motivation up. We found the amulet for the Twilight Promise quest. So that is now advanced as far as it can and we'll get rid of that. The rest of the guards are in other chunks. 62 thieving. This inventory is starting to annoy me being so full, it's time to clear it out. So let's head over to the general store probably to just sell a whole bunch of stuff. We need the chisel for our training, we don't need seeds, goodbye seeds, we can get them from guards, same with the iron bolts if we ever need them again. Unfortunately the rubies and emeralds are gonna have to go, we will simply get them back from the stall when we can thieve it at 75 thieving. Grain and body talismans, they're from guards, don't need to go from the, to the bank. Body runes gotta go, bronze arrows are actually something that we're going to equip and we're gonna sell the steel arrows because if we get a regular bow I'll actually be able to fire them. This vial was, I just sold it and I was trying to drag it. Well, I guess we don't have a vial now. <laughs> I was planning to hold on to that. But let's get rid of the final thing. Now we've got a big clear inventory. This egg is from an imp, meaning because it was really hard to get, seeing as the imps dudes definitely spawn outside of our chunk and the baguette we want to hold on to to get into the bank. But the great thing with this is now when I come over here, this shop sells all the raw food. So now I can get myself a whole bunch of raw food to take over to cook all in one go, which is going to give us way better XP rates. Does it restock? It does not. And we run between here, the food shop and up here where the oven is and we can just get cooking. 10 cooking. And with such a momentous achievement like 10 cooking out of the way, it's probably time to end the video. I don't think we can fit much more awesomeness in one video. And believe me, there is definitely some awesomeness coming up. In the meantime, while we both eagerly await the next video coming out, uh, do you mind just lending me some of your strength and mental fortitude? Because I might need a fair bit of it for getting this fletching grind done. But I'd better get back to it now, so to the trees I go, and to the like button and the subscribe button you go, each to our respective places. But also thank you very much for being here, okay bye.